Hey guys, welcome to this lecture. So uh, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the security policy, right? So uh, yesterday we created one rule. I mean, deny all in the previous lecture. So you know, and we have enabled the login on that particular rule. So as a result, it's like you know your uh, monitoring tab is showing unnecessary logs. So to get rid of that, you know, in production we never enable logging on uh, deny rules because in that case it becomes really tedious for you to identify you know uh, uh, which rule is taking hit for your interesting traffic because this is all unwanted traffic right so deny all we create for unwanted traffic so i don't want my monitoring tab to be f uh, flooded with unwanted logs so just keeping that in mind because managed service providers they if they enable logging on deny all rules their uh, you know receiving I mean log servers will be flooded so that's the reason you can see that we are getting unwanted logs so I have disabled it and let's do the commit so once you do commit so this logging will be stop and uh, we will be able to see only interesting traffic logs okay so let's wait if I go to policy so meanwhile this commit is in progress today we are going to discuss about the policy actions we have right so if you create any rule and if you go to actions there are these actions available in the policy tab right so deny is like dropping your connections right but uh, machine will receive the reset okay allow means that uh, you know we are allowing the connection and it will be passed through from the firewall drop it will be like silent drop right and if you want to send icmp unreachable then you can check this box otherwise it will be like silent drop nobody will come to know who is dropping my packet right so in deny it's like block but it will use app deny action so whatever application uh, you know default is defined accordingly it will take that particular action in recent reset client it is going to send the reset only towards the client server will come will never come to know who is dropping my connection reset server so server connection will be resetted i mean reset uh, packet will go to the server side not to the client side and reset both client and server in this case both the parties client and server will receive the reset packet so let me take the help of whiteboard to explain this in a better way so basically what we are discussing is let's say this is your firewall and this is my client this is my server so if my action is configured as deny so whatever type of application it is running so those application defaults deny will take hit right and it will drop the packets right if my action is drop then that drop will be silent and as a option as an option you can configure the icmp unreachable so that you know if you wanna from troubleshooting perspective because if silent drop is configured in the firewall then client will never come to know who is dropping my packet in the network right so this is just the hypothetical situation where server is behind one port client is behind one port in real production environment the network infrastructure is very big right and if you configure silent drops on the firewall then you will never identify the problem right so that's the reason then allow so as name suggest to allow the connection so that it can pass through the firewall then we have reset client so the reset packet whenever a client will try to access anything and if this is reset client by uh, security action then firewall will send the reset packet and connection will be dropped then we have reset server so in this case the client has initiated this connection 
server has responded but firewall will drop that packet and send the reset to terminate the connection and the last one is reset both client and server so in this case when client will initiate the packet it will be dropped and both client and server will receive the reset okay so these are the policy actions we have so let's do one thing uh, in today's lecture what we are going to do is we will fine tune our internet access rule as you can see this internet access is wide open for lan subnet uh, no profile has been configured no uh, you know url category or uh, services have been defined so it's like quite wide open rule so what we are going to do today is we are going to configure certain set of policies so that we can test them and we can verify them okay so first we will start with the url filtering so in url filtering since this action is saying allow right so if here you are going to add any category then only those category will be allowed rest of the traffic will be dropped right so in palo alto firewall if we talk about the url filtering you have two ways of doing it one way is with the help of the rules you know security rules i mean you can create category specific rules another way of doing is through security profiles right so if you go with rule you end up creating many rules for your different different categories if you go with security profile then on a single rule you can configure this profile right so this is the difference since the action is allow if you see my action is allow right now if i want to block the url categories if i will define those categories here let's say i want to block social networking so if i will click on social networking right and if i click okay so this rule means i'm allowing the connection towards the social networking although you have the url filtering in place but social networking will be open for your internet traffic i don't want that right so this way of doing it will be wrong so we should need a different way so if i need to block it either i need to create a different rule on top of a on top of this uh, you know internet access so block social networking and then you will define your source that my traffic is coming from the trust destination is going to be the untrust and source address is going to be the lan subnet right application any service category in url category you will call your uh, social networking okay and then in action it will be like uh, deny or if you want to silently silently, uh, silently drop it you can do that right deny and okay so now you need since this rule is at position 2 so position 1 rule will take hit and it will allow the connection because we do top down parsing so if first rule has been matched it will not check for this rule right so your rule order also matters so let's place block social networking at top and internet access at at bottom see this is the limitation of uh, creating url filtering blocks inside the rule right so with the help of security rule if you try blocking it you end up creating multiple rules because for some urls you need to allow for some you need to block so that's the reason if you want to do it on a single rule then you can do it with the help of the profiles so url filtering you can call it here so we will do that way as well first do this okay so let's do the commit and see if we are able to block social networking for our lan users so let's wait for this commit to complete meanwhile uh, let me get the access of the lan so here first just check this machine has a uh, internet access so you can do ping 8.8 yeah it has the internet access now let's give it a try
so best way of doing it is to have security profiles right uh, with the help of security rule uh, you know meanwhile that commit is in progress so let me explain you what happens in the backend so when you define any category inside security rule so your packets are getting dropped in slow path itself right so if you remember the packet flow packet first enters the ingress stage then flow lookup then it goes to the uh, slow path if the connection is being established for the first time right and inside slow path if there is a rule with deny action the packet will be dropped right so if you are going towards the social networking and uh, if we have the denied rule it will be dropped right so with security rules packet gets dropped inside the slow path so we end up saving sessions but in sec with security profile your packet will be dropped inside the ctd module so what happens ingress will pass flow lookup will pass right slow path will pass because there is no deny rule then it will end then we will create the session install it then it will go into the fast path right then app id app id uh, identification will happen and then it will enter to the ctd right and inside ctd content thread detection module it will detect that this uh, you know packet is uh, blocked i mean social networking category is blocked so it will be dropped right and this dropped will be logged inside thread right because this is getting blocked by the ctd engine the sp3 content thread detection or single pass single pass parallel processing engine so it will be come inside thread so this is the difference between security rule drop and security profile drop okay so let's go back it is done so let me just try to visit facebook.com so this connection will time out right if you take the washa capture you will be able to see that uh, this will time out and if i will try to visit uh, cisco.com so let's see what happens and meanwhile if you go to monitor logs you will be able to see so internet access has taken hit and if you go to url filtering so you will be able to see if uh, that facebook is getting blocked or not these are the you know previous logs so if i check the machine dns prof finished hmm there is a dns issue let me check why ns lookup so dns traffic is not able to travel if i go to traffic logs so i'm continuously sending dns so let me check the rule order again block social networking is at top trust to untrust then we have internet access 
trust to untrust action is allow and uh, what we are blocking we are only blocking uh, destination any any application service social networking see another thing is there in this particular uh, type of configuration you know that is SSL decryption so what happens if you don't do SSL decryption so these these days internet is working on SSL right so 85% of internet traffic is working on SSL protocol so what happens when client is trying to establish the session with the server right and firewall is there in the middle and you have not configured the SSL decryption so sin then it is forwarded to server synac sin plus acknowledgement it is forwarded to the client then uh, acknowledgement and my tcp three-way handshake is done right after right after that client is going to send client hello the first packet in ssl now when this packet is intercepted by the firewall right what firewall will identify so with the there is one extension field available inside the hello packet that that is sni server name indication where the domain is defined that i'm going to facebook.com right and with the help of that facebook.com it is taking the decisions right so when you do url filtering without ssl decryption so the entire decision is based on this particular sni field but if you do it with the help of the ssl decryption then you can get the granular control of the website right so let's say if you are not doing the ssl decryption you can only block youtube.com completely or facebook.com completely but with the help of ssl decryption you can block the granular things like you can block the facebook chat you can block the facebook games but rest of the things will be allowed you can block facebook post right so all all of these things we will see and we will try to implement so right now i'm not able to reach uh, i mean my dns traffic is not getting resolved and i'm able to no i'm not able to ping 8.8 .8 either so it means this rule has broke something i mean you know so it is not even having hit counts but something has been broke because if you see 8.8 .8 was working before but now i'm not able to ping anything although it is not taking hit so let me just apply the filters and let me see where my ping traffic is going on right now source is this application will be ping So this rule somehow has done something. Let me just disable it. See, these are the expected behaviors in the VM, right? Sometimes it happens. Uh, so you have to be ready with such problems in production environment too. Because the rule was quite straightforward that if somebody is coming from any source, any destination, and if the URL is, is social networking, because we have the predefined categories available inside the Palo Alto firewall, and uh, we are using PanDB. Yeah. So another thing is in URL filtering, you have two options. Either you can use PanDB or you can use uh, BrightCloud, right? 
but one license can be activated uh, at a time so you cannot activate both the databases simultaneously right so when you go to licensing if you go to device and if you go to licenses so e uh, although you can onboard both the licenses but if you have bright cloud license also available in that case you will get one option either you need to enable this one or you need to enable that one right so only one url database filtering will be enabled at a time so either you can go with pan or you can go with bright cloud initially pan db was not that effective as compared to bright cloud because it is widely accepted and cisco checkpoint they all are using it but uh, now pan db is uh, very good and it is well uh, you know uh, you can say uh, integrated with pan os so it is working seamless these days so let's go back to the policy and let me see if the job is done because i can see uh, you know the ping packets although they are allowed i mean they are taking hit of internet access only but uh, somehow it is timing out it happens sometimes you know when your data plane is over flooded in uh, vm series so such type of issues they occur then a quick restart of firewall resolves the problem you know these things are related to data plane only because we have not committed something which can break my data plane traffic right the rule is quite simple it was just denying the social networking traffic not the entire production traffic so still it is getting time out and uh, we can also check by resetting the rule hit counters you know which particular policy is taking hit so if i'm going to reset the counter so let's wait for this commit to be completed let me try if the gateway is reachable ping 192.168 sorry 10.2.2.1 so the gateway is reachable but internet is not working so it is complete so internet is taking hit monitored let's verify because continuous ping is in place
so we ping the gateway as well default intra zone has taken head for this that actually allowed the traffic and uh, rest of the traffic is also passing through okay so i believe this deny all rule is taking hit but this is strange because it was working fine mm, let me disable this deny all as well because internet access is placed at top it should be working let's check it out web server access which we created yesterday it is working and let me see if we if we have the hit count here because sometimes you know that is the static web page you get it from the cache as well so you can try it in incognito So it is the counter is not moving might be because of the uh, management plane CPU is busy but uh, if you go back I think we have hit so you can see we have hit on the rule it is still not working so this happens sometimes you know in the VM firewall uh, especially the image is running inside the Eve so we created this deny rule and then it broke the production traffic right although the rule was very specific but anyhow it has disturbed our data plane you know and now you can see the traffic is not moving we have complete outage let me check for a web server as well so if we have access from this PC towards internet but it has two interfaces so I need to check through which interface it is leaving to internet you know so let me see if we are getting logs for 10.2.6 So that interface has taken hit from different uh, network, you know. So now we can see it is getting dropped, and reason is interzone default deny 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 deny. So now you can clearly see that we do have rules in place but still interzone default is taking hit you know so it means the moment you have created that uh, deny rule in top of in top of your uh, internet access rule it has corrupted the data plane functioning you know this rule so this interzone default is taking hit which is blocking our traffic 
right so i was aware of the situation that's the reason i have disabled these two rules and then did the commit right because this internet access is not is now not matching you know so let's do one thing let me block this i mean delete this so you see after disabling this rule because we have turned off the logging right we were not able to see what was happening to our traffic because logging was not enabled on deny rule which we have created right so the moment you have disabled that rule now your default rules are taking hit and on default rules we have enabled the logging right so that's the reason i was able to see that my uh, traffic is getting blocked now if you see the policy parsing is from top to down right so uh, engine is matching first rule then second rule then third rule when packet is inside the slow path when we do the security policy evaluation we go from top to bottom right so this internet access is not matching that's the reason it is falling back to these rules right so now let's do a commit and see if this fix the problem sometimes it happens because this is the vm firewall again i'm saying and that too it is running inside the emulator evng it happens you know sometimes it breaks the data plane so let's wait for this ping and i'm damn sure that it is going to fix this problem okay guys so after this successful commit uh, you can see that we have got the internet access right so it happens sometimes you know in these virtual firewalls okay so let's do one thing uh, now let's do the url filtering and meanwhile this commit is in progress so click on add block social networking source uh, trust address lan subnet destination untrust application any service category so first we will block uh, social networking action deny so let's place this rule on top of the internet access rule okay and now let's do the comment and uh, meanwhile you can also verify whether cisco is working facebook is working it should work now so cisco is working facebook is also coming up right so both the websites are working now and uh, this commit is in progress after this commit facebook should not work only cisco uh, should be working right and to verify whether we are doing the decryption or not you can always click on this you can go to connection is secure certificate is valid and uh, you can verify the uh, you know certificate issuer if it is the known uh, certificate authority the public certificate authority like digicert you know and any other so it is like uh, your session is not getting decrypted but if it is something like uh, you know uh, custom certificate root certificate so or your pki infrastructure root certificate so it means somebody is doing the decryption of your session so this is how we identify whether you know the decryption is on or not so certificate is not coming up properly so let's wait for this certificate to load waiting for cache so i'll show you in my machine because that is the virtual one right so 
you can see the issued by so if I will open it up here let's say cisco.com so you can verify the provider of that certificate I mean who has issued it hydrant digicert you know these are the trusted root certificates so if you get some custom one it means somebody is doing the decryption okay so commit is in place now and let's see do we have any hit count so right now Facebook is also loading so let's close it and we have already started getting hit counts so that that was the reason that Facebook load was stop in between so let's try now so this will not you know load properly and if you go to monitor and if you just remove this and if you see your traffic so you will be able to see right Google ping SSL SSL and if I go to URL filtering so I should be able to get the locks so social networking you can see you can verify the date right social networking and it is getting blocked source source so this rule has started taking hit now facebook.com is getting blocked so if I will open it up cisco.com it will work if I will try to open up Facebook LinkedIn they will not work right Facebook is working if I will go to I mean Cisco is working if I will go to Facebook it will time out it will not work so Cisco is working and you will get the logs here so you can see you know facebook.com and you can refresh it after 10 seconds every 10 seconds so Cisco is coming up let's do a Google search for Facebook and then try to open it up and let's see what happens so Google search now let's try to open it up so I told you right if you are not doing the SSL decryption then with the help of uh, SNI field this website is getting blocked because this is well-known website and you know with the help of the domain name uh, we know the uh, you can say uh, this uh, you know the category of the URL right but here we can see it is opening up okay and if you try to hit Facebook directly facebook.com so let's see what happens and if I try to go incognito because sometimes you know it happens that it is taking web page from the cache if you go incognito what happens so I told you before as well your SSL I mean your URL filtering works really good if you enable the SSL decryption otherwise the URL filtering dependency is completely on uh, SNI field although we are able to see here that uh, it is getting blocked but uh, let us verify again facebook.com what happens so nothing is happening in the incognito yeah this site cannot be reached error connection reset okay so this page is coming from the cache let me just do one thing let me uh, clear the cache street 
because we can see the logs in the fa uh, firewall that Facebook is getting blocked. So these pages, uh, they are coming from the cache. You can see it is not loading properly, right? So if you clear the cache, you will be able to see that it is not working. We have internet access and uh, if you just, sorry my bad, settings. Because whenever you are working with URL filtering, you need to make sure that uh, these, you clear the cache regularly because web pages getting load from the cache is quite normal. So we can do a search browser cache. all time clear data and once it is deleted if you then try to open it up you will be able to see so meanwhile uh, it is happening in the background let's try to visit twitter.com so again a social networking website so let's see what happens and uh, whether we are able to see the logs for twitter Right, right now we are getting logs for facebook.com but let's have a look you can see twitter is also getting blocked right so application twitter base action block url you can also create uh, blocks based on application right because the main websites like facebook youtube twitter they have this base application right so the main page is uh, i mean uh, recognized as base application and uh, if you want to block the particular thing like facebook chat facebook post so we do have applications for that but for that you need to enable the ssl decryption this is the basic requirement which you need to do so here you can see that uh, twitter has been blocked right Care, uh, connection has been reset similarly if you visit facebook it will be blocked So in the next lecture, we will see how we can do this thing uh, with the help of the profiles because now what, what will happen, uh, all the social networkings have been blocked, but let's say, uh, you know, you need to create certain categories to allow the traffic like, you know, uh, rest of the traffic you need to allow. So uh, if you do it in internet access, if you define any category here, it will only allow the connection towards those categories rest of the traffic will be by default denied right so uh, to better achieve this uh, we will go with the profile settings right we will enable the profiles and we will see what we can do with the help of the url filtering and in that case do we need such kind of security rules right so in the next lecture we will see that thanks for watching this video